um, this week, a couple big fights, a couple fight cards. Josh Taylor, right? Josh Taylor, Unifier, the undisputed champ at 140. Jack Catterall. Don't think Catterall gives him much trouble. The last time he was in this kind of spot, uh, he fought the fighter from Thailand before he had to have the undisputed fight with Ramirez, and he didn't play around. He got him out one round in a body shot. I'm hoping that's kind of the kind of Josh Taylor we get. You know, he's he's human. Maybe maybe a homecoming defense, not in a super fight. Just a little something comes off from from the last fight. But talking to him, I try to I try to ask him about a Terrence Crawford fight. He said, I don't give a fuck about a Terrence Crawford fight. You keep asking me about that. It's going to go in one ear and out the other. And I go, don't care about. OK, uh, well, you don't care about Spence Ugas and the winner of that fight either. He goes, don't give a fuck about that fight either. <laughs> I and, like this guy. And he he's so he's so that was good. Yeah. He's 100 percent focused on Jack Catterall. And when I met him, it was very blunt like that. When I met him, he was very kind of he was he was fun. He was outgoing, all that kind of stuff. But. When you started to talk about boxing, you started to analyze, talk about some things. He was just like, "No, no." His nah. his trash talk is similar. His trash talk is very abrupt. Like yeah, I was yeah. watching the press conference with him and Catterall, and he's like, "Catterall's like, well, I'll beat him by being Jack Carroll." He's like, "You don't know. You don't know how you could beat me." Like <laughs> he's you don't intense, know, whatever, and yeah. has an edge. He has an yeah. edge. Yeah. Yeah. He's an he has an intensity and an edge to him. Yeah. Catterall, he's very, a tough guy. He's a very straight one two. You know, offensive guy. It, the only thing I saw briefly watching him is he lunges in a little bit, kind of overextends. And a guy like Josh Taylor, very precision puncher. That mm-hmm. that doesn't. He's uh, a he's go a southpaw, well as is Taylor. He's yeah. a southpaw who likes to box on the outside, but he's five seven and Josh Taylor is five ten. Right. Yeah. And so he's going to try and be on the outside with that a more math is a math math in there. With, <laughs> he's going to try and do that with a more explosive guy. Good yeah. luck. I just don't think he's going to have a lot. For yeah. Josh Taylor. Yeah. I just don't think he's going to have a lot yeah. for Josh Taylor. And I, I was kind of skeptical about when Lopez, before he lost to Cambosis, I was like, I want to see that fight. I want to mm-hmm. see Lopez that, un, you know, it's move up. A great fight. Yeah, I but, still say make the fight. But with him losing, okay, that goes out the window. And whenever he, there was talks of him and Crawford, I'm thinking, you know, that's, that's just going to be a bit too much for good old Josh Taylor. But then at your fight, he was there. And when I met him, He's this big. He, he's he's the same size as mm. Terrence Crawford, except two inches taller. So, and Terrence used to be a one thirty five pounder. So, it, them fighting size isn't an issue. It's he just who's the better his, man. His his height is legit. And like yeah, five, ten, he's legit. He's a legit five. five he's taller than Terrence yeah. Crawford. Mm-hmm. You, I yeah. haven't seen him like up close since we since way back in the day. He right. wasn't as big back then. Yeah. He's he's got he's a little legit. more to him now. I mean, yeah. he's a thin guy, but he's got a little I mean, more I, to him. Honestly, I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy to hear that a guy is like taking it seriously, doing all the right things and taking the right steps. You know what I mean? We're never going to get that fight. Terrence, no, Terrence so, is not going to do business with top rank. Right, but that's what I thought. But then Josh said we're in the same house. MTK. I didn't think about that till yeah. after the interview. And maybe. also, yeah. Terrence, a two-piece, E-piece, i piece to his ass. <laughs> I don't know what that one, was. One, one, yeah, what but if he does, it, we don't have to say it's because Josh was a little guy Small moving up. Small guy, just that Terrence is better. Right. I think um, we're not really, not really calling for that since nah. we know Terrence got options now. When yeah, he was yeah. stuck on that side of the street, yeah. What's up? I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Ed. Follow me on IG. Ed with two T's. Let's do All it. Right, Let's do it again. Let's All right. Again. Just introduce yourself. Okay. And then tell him, and then you tell him what to do. I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Anthony Breno. Carson A. Merck. Like, subscribe, comment. This is the Porter Way.